being fit does not mean you have to be superior to others. Being better than you were before is the goal. There are many people who had made their mark on the bodybuilding industry and also on the generations that followed them. Despite the fact that Flex Wheeler has likely never truly faded, many young bodybuilders still find inspiration in him. So, before going into the details of Flex Wheeler, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you can get our video updates. Now, let's see how this legend got his prestige. On August 23, 1965, Kenneth Flex Wheeler was born in Fresno, California. Flex Wheeler initially began training for his career in martial arts when he was a teenager. He was nevertheless inspired to pursue bodybuilding by his natural development. He has stated that he is a martial artist first, a bodybuilder second. Despite this, it also explains why he is so flexible considering his enormous physique. Nevertheless, Arnold Schwarzenegger called him one of the best bodybuilders he had ever seen. Flex was a buzz as a child and had many troubles growing up, including suicidal ideation due to his dyslexia. He also had academic difficulties. Flex did well in the sports industry. Flex got his start in martial arts before swapping to bodybuilding as a teenager. He had learned martial art in his young and had developed incredible flexibility including the ability to perform the splits. This is how he came to be known as Flex. One of the Flex's first career in society was a police officer, but his passion for bodybuilding ultimately prevailed. He gave his entire attention to growing bigger and powerful. Although he entered competitions for the first time in 1983, it was not until 1989 that he won the and PC Mr. California Championship. He continued to compete throughout the 1990s and 2000s because he had a taste for victory. He raised his goals and turned his attention to Mr. Olympia where he came second in 1993, eighth in 1995, fourth in 1996, second in 1998 and 1999, third in 2000, seventh in 2002, and 15th in 2017. He outperformed the opposition throughout his lengthy and healthy career, taking home numerous victories including the France Grand Prix, South Beach Pro Invitational Night of Champions and Hungarian Grand Prix. He also won the Ironman Pro 5 times and the Arnold Classic 4 times. He won his first Arnold Classic in 1993, second in 1997, third in 1998 and fourth in 2000. Flex was involved in a serious auto accident in 1994 that nearly claimed his life. It might have caused paralysis for the rest of my life. In 1997, Flex was the victim of carjacking which made it impossible for him to participate in the Mr. Olympia competition that year. This set him up for further depression. This did not deter him from Picking a bodybuilding again, he persisted to compete despite having a serious kidney condition called focal segmental glomerulonephritis. He said, they told me that I had the most aggressive kidney disease known to man and there was no cure. They also told me my life was hanging in the balance and I would need kidney transplant. Although Flex claimed the kidney disease was hereditary, rumor persisted that he use of asteroid was to blame for it. Some medical experts believe his use of asteroids may have made the condition worse. In the early 2000s, Flex left the sport of bodybuilding after receiving this devastating news. Due to a chronic health condition, Wheeler had to have a portion of his right leg amputated in October 2019. The decision was to ampute a portion of Wheeler's right leg was made due to escalating circulation difficulties in my right leg that had become life-threatening, he said in a public statement at that time. Wheeler admitted following the procedure that he was aware that his right leg might eventually have to be amputated but remained optimistic. But the leg was so painful that he couldn't even walk, let alone exercise. After quitting the sports, Flex transitioned from bodybuilding to competing in martial arts, his first love. He preferred martial arts was rumored to be Kemp Kondo, a hybrid of Kempo. 
taekwondo and aikido after receiving a kidney transplant in 2003 flex competed in the 2005 arnold classic showcasing his fighting prowess and taking him the victory since the early 20s he has participated in 70 unbeaten fight in his martial arts career since then flex has served as the company's media and public relation director additionally he oversees the company's sponsored athletes and can be promoting the business flex has stated that if the organization retains the masters for the olympia he would like to make a return to bodybuilding regarding martial arts he will continue to be passionate about it His greatest ambition is to become an actor and one day appears on the big screen. He has received movie offers because of his fame and size, which have attracted the attention of film producers. Flex's passion and competitive spirit are still evident even after all these years. He was competitive from birth. Flex used a lot of hypertrophy and heavy weight with few reps, just like the majority of heavy sets bodybuilders. He would perform split exercises, German volume training and progressive overload during his workout. Flex didn't waste time in the gym because he was still the same size as during his competition days. Everything was on the line. After undergoing a kidney transplant and returning to martial arts, Flex experienced additional stress that caused a significant change in his diet over time. His diet was primarily consist of lean protein, healthy fats, complex carbs, and occasional cheat meal, but this is safe assumption. Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and many other martial artists are ideal of flex. He is inspired to compete and work even harder each year by their skill in the sport. He is also internally driven to do things. His early years and numerous life experiences fueled his resolve to keep improving himself and moving forward. I think overall my great bodybuilding achievements has to shown from my personal and private life. All the turmoil I was involved in, the ground roots that I had to crawl through. Accomplishing all I did was a major achievement even the obstacles I had to overcome. A kid coming from welfare who was suicidal and dealt with sexual abuse. Flex Wheeler said. Flex Wheeler is a great role model even after overcoming abuse, depression, car accident, robberies and kidney failure, he was still able to compete in his first love martial arts. If there is one thing we can learn from him, it is that he overcame some of the lowest points in his life to become one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time by being steadfast in his pursuit of the one thing that made him happy. I want people to know that they can deal with all of these problems and achieve greatness rather than becoming a gangster, a loser, a nobody man. If I did trust me anyone can can let Flex Wheeler set. So, what do you think of this great bodybuilder Flex Wheeler? Let me know in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and share to VM Muscle Magic and press the bell icon for future updates. This is for the day. See you in the next video. Till that time, stay motivated and stay fit.